Why don't you give a, 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 a quick introduction of who you are and why you're doing a podcast? I'd like to know all that. You'd like to know that? I'd like to know all that. I might not be able to listen. They might sure, want to know because I'm, sure. I'm doing a share here for Ab- you. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Sean Evans. I do a podcast. This is out of my house. and uh, I'm from home. Thanks, buddy. I'm from London, Ontario. Um, the reason that I do this podcast is basically to break stigma. So I'm actually a certified sex coach, and I had a unfortunate... This is why I'm here. This is actually just a therapy session. You guys are going to see a live sex therapy session with pun star Dan Shabba. Porn star. Porn star. Porn star. That's we're, what we're upgrading to We're the tonight. porn guys now. The porn guys. <laughs> I love it. And Wait, That's uh, a genuine thing that we're like thinking about doing. The porn guys? Yeah. And like then a what, YouTube, like a you porn. What follows after that? I don't know. <laughs> just it's just the, the idea. Just the idea of Sorry, it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's all right. <laughs> that's okay, buddy. Yeah. Uh, the reason we do this podcast is to try to break stigma. We want sex positive attitudes. Um, we want people to be open, authentic, and talk about the way that they feel. We don't care if we drop f bombs. We don't care if we yeah. talk about mental health. That's a big thing. I lost my best friend and roommate to uh, to suicide a year and a half ago. And the reason that we called it sex and suicide is to break down that stigma mm. and to let people know that it's okay to talk about these right. things. Uh, we like to call it the uh, authentic siege on the bullshit on social media, the okay. highlight reels. Okay, I like and that. And that's kind of where we're going with this. So tonight, um, the reason I have Dan on the show is because we're both very, I mean, you guys might not know this about Dan, but his mindset is, is on another level. And I know that just from talking to you for the Thanks, last... man. You're welcome. I appreciate that. So, um, but you don't know, all you see is sort of the successful guy with, what, 300,000 likes on your personal Facebook page. Right. Over a million on you and, and John Nani and the Pun Guys page. The only reason there's 300,000 likes on my page is because of the teamwork. The teamwork that, that John and I it. have done. Yeah, Absolutely. Definitely. Well, it's all about collaboration. Would you right. not agree? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like what you guys are going to learn tonight, and we also have my co-host Brandon Ferris. So for those of you who are new to the show tonight, um, Brandon also had a podcast called The Cabin Podcast in I London, did. Ontario. Yep. And Brandon is going to be moving into my house, and we're going to be doing a, a podcast together. And Brandon has known Dan for how many years? Oh, Got to be at least 15. Yeah, approaching there for sure. Got to be close to 15 yeah. years. 15 years? Just, well, I met, actually, 14 too many. No. Well, I met, you in, uh, I met you technically in high school one night. I went to high school? Well, I was in high school. <laughs> really I was in high that. school, and I met yeah. you at some house, and you showed me some of your lyrics. Right. And then we met later on in life right i went to high school for a week good for you tell me about that man like tell me the dan stab uh, the dan stab dan stab i'm I'm rhyming now i'm rhyming now too (laughs) the dan shabba story man like i know i didn't know this about you because brandon had already told me that you were an amazing video editor at one point in time so i just kind of assumed that you went to school for video editing and you said man Last week we talked, you said, I, I didn't even go to high school, or I, I didn't finish high school. I didn't finish high school. Did, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I guess that's the more accurate way to put it. Yeah, I went to high school, didn't like it okay. at all, yeah. and uh, just just thought, uh, I'm a big fan of just learning what, what I think you, you want to learn, right. you know? and I think the, I was actually just having this conversation about just the, the school system in general. Yeah. We're, we're getting people to learn things they don't really want to learn, right. and then and we focus on what they're not good at. Absolutely. They come home, and it's like... A in math, A in history, A in science, and then Fazed's a D, and they're like, "What happened to the? What happened to Fazed?" Right, and they just focus on that. It's like you got to get better at Fazed. No, they should never do Fazed again. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. And I just didn't agree with that. And I thought, you know, if I want to learn what I want to learn, it doesn't didn't mean that I wasn't you know disciplined or wanted to sure. wanted to learn. Uh, I just wanted to learn on my terms. So I went okay. to I went to the school of Google. Really? Yeah. Is Skoogle. that how you? Is that what you describe Skoogle. it? Google. 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 No that's, shit. That's it now. Google. So Skoogle. So your whole your whole story is basically follow your passion and don't yeah. don't worry about the bullshit. Like, and it obviously worked out for you. Are you kind of saying to kids, you know, don't drop finish. out? Yeah, drop out. Drop out. <laughs> Look, forget what your mom said. How you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rainbow the star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, not necessarily that. There's a place for it. Obviously, we need sure. scholastic education. You need to know how to count. You know, you need to know basic math. Sure. Well, it helps you with interacting with other people too. Absolutely. Learning relationships, yeah. right? But there's there's few there's changes that I would make. Okay. Um, small oh, small changes. I would say like I do in, too. instead of giving Charlotte's Web as that, the book, I would give, you know, how to win friends and influence people. Sure. I would make that change. That's and I think you, I think you do that and you'll see like an instant twenty percent decrease in crime. 
You think so? I would think so, yeah. Really? Just, so you, you can understand why somebody's talking the way that they're talking and, mm-hmm. and, and feeling the way they are. And, and if you can, the moment there, you can, you can see that and acknowledge it, you might react differently than if you didn't know. Right. Right. So where did you get this mindset that you have? Because after, after we've been talking, uh, you have a focus on sort of spirituality in a sense and mm-hmm. meditation. Mm-hmm. Um, you also have a very positive outlook and try to, and we preach it on here all the time. We preach that you should always focus on what you can be grateful for rather than the things that you don't have. Right, right. And how did you, I mean, I know you've had some tough times in your life just briefly talking to you. Can we get into detail on some of the things? Of course, things? yeah, yeah. So let's, so let's. Uh, let's start with when you were younger, and uh, at one point, how did you make ends meet? Like, how was there ever a time where you didn't think you were going to eat? Yeah, that was uh, that was a nightly that was a nightly thing. So I, I really? grew up. Yeah, I, I grew up. Um, the, the the majority of my life was spent in group homes and foster homes, living on the streets. I was in, in and out of Salvation Armies. You know, a lot of people don't know us. I was in and out of jail. Really? Um, and that's not necessarily oh, um, yeah. me being a, a, a bad guy. I was just hanging around the wrong people. I'd be the guy right. holding the screwdriver or something, you know, right. not really knowing what to do, but being forced <laughs> kind of to, to, to fit in there. Right. Um, luckily f- for me, uh, I, had, uh, I had those experiences and, and turned them around. Yeah, uh, really? Just, yeah, just really. based on influences that I had that I was fortunate and l- lucky enough to have. But uh, yeah, a very interesting childhood growing up that's yeah. now led me to... Uh, you know, want to give back actually to that, uh, to that community. Right. Well, Long term, I'd like to start, uh, start maybe my own type of, you know, not necessarily group home or foster home, but service, maybe some sort of speaking to get in there and talk to those kids. That's right. That's great. Right. Yeah. And, and what would you that's, say? That'd be the why, I what guess. would you say when you get in there and talk to those kids? What would be your message? I think the first thing would, would be, uh, uh drop out. We've already established. Yeah. That. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't go to school kids. That's, yeah, yeah. The, that's the answer. Come in here. Come in here. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I just think I just think a lot of times they just don't hear a lot of positivity to begin with. They don't they they, they don't focus on the successful uh, stories that are out there. So right. I, I would just want to give them a, a story and be able to relate with them exactly how they feel. You know, it's, there's nothing worse than a non-smoker telling you how to quit smoking. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right? Absolutely. So you know, I, it's that that sort of thing. Somebody right. that's literally been in their shoes yeah. um, that can that can, you can explain to how them. to walk. Yeah. In, in that uh, in that form. Yeah, yeah, Empathy. totally. Yeah. And, and that, that kind of part. understanding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No kidding. So when you were younger, you went through this, uh, this tough time. How did you develop that positive mindset? Like, how did you pull yourself away from it? You said, it, you, you, said you realized it relatively quickly, but how? Uh, that, you know, that's something I, um, I've been asked several times. And, and I, I, I can only, the only thing I can suggest is that there was just that innate feeling that I just, I knew there was something better. I knew there was something more. I felt like I had something to offer and I, I just wasn't going to deny that. And I think a lot of people feel that, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. you know, but it, they just don't always, uh, you know, act on it, whether it's a belief or whatever. And I remember the first motivational uh, video that ever got sent to me. And it was, it was Earl Nightingale, okay. um, The Strangest Secret. I don't know if it, it's now the secret, which you see, it's been very like, it's very modern. It's kind sure. of been, you know, overdone a little. It's marketed, overdone, yeah, marketed, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. overly marketed. Yeah. But, but the fundamentals of that are, are essentially true. I, I, I would have to agree with them a lot. And the moment that I heard that, it just, it, it really changed a lot more for me to just, really? to just, and I just acted, acted on what he said. You can go to YouTube right now. Don't do it now. <laughs> Watch our video. Watch first. this video. Do it after. But Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Fuck Secret. It. And he's got yeah. the voice, this guy's got the voice of God. Really? Yeah, he does. Is it the same in the sense that it's all based on the law of attraction or is there a little bit of a difference there? Um, the, essentially, it's just you become what you think about and gives you a thousand different reasons as to, as to what that is. Now, uh, the, the other secret will will tell you the same thing, but he gets more into the action side of it. And, right. But naturally, if you're thinking about doing something, you're more likely to do it. You're more right. likely to act on it. So right. there's just certain things that uh, that I just still do to this day. Like you know, by the time this podcast is over, there'll be three reminders that that have gone on that that are just reminding you know me to be in a certain state or to be That's cool. uh, to be grateful of something. Yeah. To just because it'll it'll take a half hour before you forget. What right. you just listened to, right? Right. It's right. Some sort of weird study showed that, like, it's it's a matter of like uh, within a week. If you go see Tony Robbins, you go see Unleash the Power Within. Yeah. You know, you see some crazy life changing, and then within a week, 
you just forget like ninety percent of oh, them. Absolutely, no retention. Yeah, because yeah, we're yeah. not reten because yeah. we're there's, we're just overloaded with shit. Sure. Yeah, constantly. yeah, absolutely. Shit, right? It is shit. Yeah. Most of it. It's right? shit. Yeah, and news and like Facebook negative crap. Bullshit. Yeah, friends that are just you know negative yeah. in the wrong yeah. in the wrong realm. So. Um, it's it's just so important to write write things down and, and review them weekly and have a disciplined right. daily focus on it. Well, that's what I do anyway. So, so you're your own so coach. Yeah, well, yeah, you you can definitely do it. You don't need to hire all these all these uh, therapists and, and and you know drugs and all this. You can do this right. yourself. Right. So what is it that like? Tell me what you put in your phone that that reminds you. Like, t how does I that go through it? If you want to see, I think it'd be kind of cool. Be, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah. yeah. I think so, so one that literally just popped up. I just saw three of them right there. Yeah. yeah. So other two, uh, other two, I'm I'm not going to mention. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> they are still good, but yeah. cannot mention them. Cannot mention them. Um, Fair so enough. so first thing in the morning, the one that goes off here. I don't know if you can see it. it just says it just simply says smile. Smile. It says oh, good simply for you. says smile. Yeah. I think I think we uh, we take smiling for granted. Right. We really do. Sure. You know? Yeah. And the brain doesn't know any difference. You, you could be in a terrible mood. But if you smile, it's like, oh, he's happy. Yeah. Well, then, well, let's send that out. Sure. You know, and yeah. then, and then now it's weird. The more that I, I've been doing this for about a year, every time it, I smile a little bit harder and longer to the point where it's almost kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll be in the morning, like just just reading it, like, <laughs> <laughs> like lose your mind. Yeah. Like it, it becomes. It, yeah. It's like an anchor to just be happy. Right. That's and, right. You know, and then you just you look might look like a lunatic, but at least I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. yeah cool. And that's that's the thing though, is that Tony Robbins actually does say that if you start faking your laugh, you can't mm. help but actually turn mm -hmm. that into a real, real laugh. laughter. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. If yeah. you do it long enough, so if totally, we, man. If we just looked at each other, we should try that at the end of the podcast. Just like uh, we're all fake laughing uh, at each other until it catches. Yeah, yeah, they have those laughing yoga things. Have yeah. you seen that where you like put your head on someone's belly that was, and I it goes in like a circle or something? <laughs> no, I have not. In no, an episode of Kenny vs. Spenny, the first one to laugh loses, and Ken and Spenny takes Kenny to a laughing group. Really? Where he brings them in there, and everyone starts laughing. And Kenny's almost losing it. He's like, "What is going on?" <laughs> Here. I haven't and seen he that one. He leaves the room, but it was a, it was a ploy. That's amazing because they have yeah. a it's a, a laughing group. They just go to this house like a yeah. old Victorian. And they just laugh. Yeah, that's laugh. good. It's, that's awesome. It's, you man. know, well, laughter is the cure for illness, typically, right? Like, well, it's a, it's the best that, medicine, yeah. they say, right? For sure, sure, yeah. And when you when you put these reminders in your phone, how often do you do it? Have you just put them all in? Did you put them in one day and decide like this is what I want for every day? Yeah. So I have daily ones that that are going off. Yeah. Um, usually about six or seven that are in there. But you know, the moment you know, it's weird. I always find it weird when somebody goes, it asks you. It's yeah. like, yo, Sean, remind me, I got to pick up that. that <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You, why? You have a phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have Siri. And yeah. a brain. That, that you literally, a lot of people don't know this, but you could just literally go, remind, you know, me. remind me to take a dump at 4 p.m. tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. and it'll do that. Yeah. And, and meanwhile, you're sitting Damn, there asking. Don't forget to take a poop today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that a reminder you typically put in your phone? Yeah, is that the one yeah, you yeah, hear yeah. from us? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's two I'm not going to say. One to pee, one to poo. <laughs> right. Does it yeah. say pun potty? <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so yeah, so so there's those that that, I, that just need to be done, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah but then there's the daily sure. ones that that change over time. If I feel like maybe I've I've conditioned myself to um, right. to remember that because there's right. some that you you just you do it long enough and then it's just a part of you. You just kind of feel it and remember right. it. But um, another one is is a goal of of income that, right. that I want to make in a month in a monthly basis. Sure. Like, uh, yeah. Um, a monthly ba okay. Yeah. A monthly basis. Yeah. Um, you know, another one that that I I, I'm th I think is very easy to know. Um, but I, I had lost it for a little while, and I'll I'll just bring it back. You know, sometimes if you read a book, you ever notice if you read right. that same book like five years from now, it's different. It's, it's like somebody rewrote the book. Totally different. Because yeah. you see it with different eyes. Yes. You know what 100%, I mean? You're a different person. Yeah. Different person reading it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm right. A it's Darren Hardy. That's Darren Hardy's kind of line. I don't want to take credit sure, for that. That's but that's the way. truth. Name yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm a highlighter when I read. I highlight thinking that I'll retain it better if I'm like, oh, that's important. And then yeah, yeah. when I go back to read it, I'm like, why the fuck did, did I, I highlight that? Was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I would never What was I thinking? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I actually just printed off the book that you sent me. Best year best, ever. Best year ever. Darren Hardy. And that was what Jeff Leeson talked yeah, about Jeff, as well. Jeff I printed it off. up too. I printed it yeah. off. Yeah, Absolutely life-changing. Yeah. Life-changing program. If you stick with it. I've mm -hmm. given that program to a lot of people, Jeff being one of them. He um, used it. He, he, he yeah. did. He yeah. did. And, and you know what? I, I, he's a different person. He's the first person. that yeah. I've, I've given this to maybe 20, 25 people. That's what you said, yeah. And he, he's the first one that's went the full year without stopping. He's really... He's